Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Now, I'm sure as you all heard, Floyd Mayweather Jr. has announced via social media and a Tokyo press conference that he will be fighting uh, on Risen Fighting Federation on December 31st, New Year's Eve in Japan. Um, The promoters are still working on specific uh, rule set and what type of fight this will be. He will be taking on an MMA fighter. Uh, it's a guy who's 4-0 in MMA and 27-0 and in kickboxing, and he's 20 years old. This is a very, very interesting bout and a very interesting prospect of a fight. It's something that you would have never thought that Floyd Mayweather would do. The name of this particular fighter is Tension. Um, and this will be a very interesting prospect. I, I, I know a lot of people are starting out saying that Floyd Mayweather Jr. more than likely will end up fighting, you know, um, if, if he if he has the balls, he'll fight in MMA or kickboxing. Floyd Mayweather Jr. would be an absolute idiot to take either one of those style fights against a guy who does this professionally, who's undefeated as a kickboxer and as an MMA fighter. And so Floyd Mayweather Jr. is more than likely going to take this fight as a boxing match and as a big money payday because he understands that in Japan, he's going to be a huge name. He's going to get millions of dollars and he's going to get worldwide attention for taking this fight. Floyd Mayweather Jr. was previously interested in fighting other big names in the MMA UFC world, but he was unable to get those names without actually going to the octagon and which we know that Floyd Mayweather Jr. is not going to do. Floyd Mayweather Jr., in my opinion, is seeking another huge payday. He's seeking the biggest payday he can get. And he's just trying to basically build his name and his brand. And look, if he wants to do that, that's fine. But, you know, if he takes on this guy in the boxing match, I don't think this should count towards his record. You're basically fighting another novice, another guy who's who's never stepped foot in a boxing ring, a guy who's not uh, a rated or ranked fighter. So why should this shit even matter at this point? You know, I respect Floyd as one of the greatest to ever do it, maybe even the greatest. But at the end of the day, He's being basically an attention whore at this point. Um, No one really cares about this, but at the same time, it's going to be such a spectacle that I have no choice but to watch. It's going to be interesting as fuck, especially on New Year's Eve. So that's definitely going to be something a lot of people is going to tune into. He's definitely going to be a big, big fight. And it's going to be interesting to see if Showtime puts this on pay-per-view, how this will be broadcast to the U.S. market. And basically what happens at that point, because if Floyd Mayweather Jr. wins this fight and he goes on, perceivably his next fight would be against Manny Pacquiao or Adrian Broner, should they both be successful, should either one of those guys be successful in the next fight. And I pretty much think it's a safe bet to say Manny Pacquiao will fight Floyd Mayweather Jr. in a rematch. And this is all just a hype and build up to that rematch, because you have to realize that a, a lot of people aren't or weren't really checking or interested in a Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather Jr. rematch. This will basically revive interest in it by Manny Pacquiao going in, kicking Adrian Broner's ass, and Floyd Mayweather Jr. having yet another spectacle fight. And basically, this fight will it will not even be a good gauge as to see if Floyd Mayweather Jr. can perform at a top or an elite level or if what skills have diminished and what skills have not. Because you have to understand that against an opponent like this who's not ranked, who has no experience in a boxing range, you you, you really it's not really a good gauge. He's just looking for a big fucking payday. If you look on the other end, this hurts Floyd Mayweather Jr. This could make things tremendously difficult for him in a fight against Manny Pacquiao. And this will this is why you'd have to give Pacquiao the edge over Floyd is because he's fighting yet another novice. Say what you want about Adrian Broner. At least he's a fucking boxer. And Manny Pacquiao has already beat and stopped the Lucas Mathise. Manny Pacquiao still shows that he has power and pop in all of his shots. And so you we understand that guys hitting 40. They, they're going to have a diminished skill set. But I do believe that Manny Pacquiao has an edge and over a Floyd Mayweather Jr. at this point in his career because this is no longer the same Floyd Mayweather Jr. we know. And we don't even have a gauge on how good or bad Floyd Mayweather Jr. is at this point. And we won't until the 
to the time of the Manny Pacquiao fight because this fight, no matter how good or bad Floyd looks in this fight, is still no fucking way to tell. Because at the end of the day, Floyd could just carry this guy and stop him late like he did Conor McGregor. Once again, it's the IBFP. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.